hello guys welcome to my channel machine learning tutorials today we are going to learn about google collaboratory notebooks in as much detail as possible this tutorial is going to cover a variety of things related to google collab and they might not even be related so here is the table of contents If you have already used Google Collab and know a few things, feel free to skip any part that you're already familiar with and jump right to the part you're interested in. Alright, the reason why Google Collab has become so popular nowadays is mainly because they offer free GPU for training for up to 12 hours continuously and even after that you can reconnect for a new session. And the thing is that most people do not have a GPU in their workstation. Even those who do, it's not manufactured by NVIDIA. The current GPU that Collab offers is NVIDIA Tesla K80. You can Google it for its specifications if you like. But we're gonna get started with Google Collab now. So first of all, you need a Gmail account. After that, go to your Google Drive. Once you are here, right click, click on more and connect more apps. Type collab over here. I already have it installed, so it shows me a check sign. Once you have connected Google Collab to your Google Drive, close this tab. Once you're done with that, a new folder named Collab Notebooks will be made. Open that. And after that, right click, More, and Collaboratory. It will create a new Collab Notebook for you. You can rename it by clicking over here. Let's name ours Test. You can click here to add more code cells. You can click here to add more text cells. This one to navigate. If you want to delete some cell, click over here, delete cell. It's as simple as that. Let's now check which devices are connected to our notebook at this moment. Let's run it. Currently, we only have a CPU connected. This is its memory limit. To avail Google's free GPU service, click on edit notebook settings currently we are running a python 2 environment let's change that to python 3 as well and to enable the gpu click here and gpu now let's save it it's gonna take some time to connect like five to six seconds let's rerun this code now so now it shows that a gpu device is connected as well its name is tesla k80 to install a library or a framework, write this command, type install and the name of the framework or library. Let's try TensorFlow. It says requirement already satisfied because I already have installed TensorFlow. Now this command might not always work in case it doesn't. Just go to Google and write how to install library name on Google Collaboratory Notebooks. The first search result will probably give you a single line command that you can run on your notebook to install that library on your Google Collab Notebooks. Now to clone a GitHub repository to your Google Drive, simply just go to that repository. Let's use this one as an example. Click here copy this link come back to your notebook write wget clone and paste that link let's run this cell now you can see now that this repository has been cloned let's check the content of our current folder as you can see, the repository has been cloned in our current directory. Let's now learn how to navigate through the Google Drive folders. 
the ls command basically told you the content of your current directory to move back a directory this is the command that you would run let's see the contents of our current directory so this is what we have let's go to the content folder cd content yeah, let's see what we have inside it we've got drive sample data and yolo object detection dot kit let's go to sample data I put some data sets in here which is why I wanted to navigate over here let's go there let's check its contents right so if you want to remove something just type rm and the name of the file let's see if it has been removed there we go we don't see MNS test anymore to see the contents of a file use this command so it displays what was inside the readme file let's now learn how to import our data set into our google collaborative notebook for that we have to go to google collabs website the link to this website will be posted in the description copy this line of code paste it here also import pandas library and run this cell before we continue let's create a few more code cells let's go back copy this line of code paste it here and run it choose files and we're gonna go with cell is dot csv let's now try to read this file there you go if you want to import an online dataset into your Google Collaborative Notebook, the easiest way to do that is to write this command. Look at the link to your online dataset. Let's say this one, for example, and run this cell. The name of the dataset, as you can see, is titanic.csv. Let's now try to read it. Run this cell and as you can see the data set has been successfully imported to our Google Collaborative Notebook. Before we continue I'd like to discuss a common error that arises when you're using Collab. It's this one. So it means that all the GPUs that Google offers are currently busy and you can solve this problem simply by just trying a few minutes later. If you want to see the parameters that a function of any library TensorFlow, Keras, uh, Cyclelearn uses, this is how you can do it. This is the name of the function you want to find out the parameters of and simply just add a question mark at the end and run it. The documentation for that function will be shown to you which will include the parameters that the function takes as well as what each parameter means and in some cases it will also include an example of how that function can be used. Alright guys, this is it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.